This is Dark Devil Daddy, and I am having a problem getting my little thing to cooperate there. There we go. Boy, how many times have I said that in my life? Anyway, this is the Diabog Daddy Gaming Show, and I have got a Wii review for you. The game, for those not in the know, who couldn't guess, is CSI Deadly Intent. Now, first thing you're going to need for this game is only... One controller. Do you need the cool little extra attachment? Not today. Deadly Intent is not a game for little kids. Like little, little kids. I'm sure a lot of them wouldn't mind as much as they used to, but the truth is, it's still got some gross stuff. So if gross stuff bothers you, immediately, no. <laughs> it is a Telltale Games. And honestly, this is where you're gonna find the problems landing. The game is interesting, but it's gonna be a C to D game. So I picked up my copy from a thrift store. I picked it up for three bucks and I think I got a good amount of play out of it for three bucks. So even if I never play it again after this video, I uh, honestly, I feel like I did okay, but that makes this very much a C minus kind of game. And the big problem is it's telltaleness shows. Now, it's got a lot of the elements of CSI. So if you're a big CSI fan, you may want to play it though. The one I actually did run it off of, um, wasn't as impressed. The fact it's on Wii does not make it any better. As a matter of fact, you're kind of stuck in PlayStation 2 graphics with this one. And this is where it really shows up at some of the worst. Because let's talk to Brass. Brass, I think, is possibly the worst looking of the characters outside the... Uh, I mean, just, ugh, look at the poor guy. <laughs> Aside from uh, the Dr. Palmer, I believe. Let's see yeah. if he's got anything to say. What's up? We need an arrest warrant for Horace Winningham. Tell you me what you've got. Do I have anything? I don't have anything yet, but, you know, maybe this. We'll try it. See what he says. Brass sometimes is, he fits the character in the game pretty well, so we'll present it. If this isn't adequate, it could be good. The problem here is I don't see how these things are connected. See, that one's not so bad. Sometimes he just outright like, you're really not, you're not learning the, the ropes here. Maybe you went into the wrong field, whatever. Let's talk to Chucklehead over here. You know, see what now? Something from William's office has got to tie into the murders. I just know it. So now I have to take my thing over to someplace else. And this is the travel function even within the office. It's a bit rubbish. They come with different locations for each crime, and then there are the different things here. And I'm going to show you why this is not for kids. Let's get this out of the way right now. And I will also show you the other character. I'm just like, oh, the animation's not that great. Okay. So let's take a check. You can go zoom in on the corpse. Here's your wines. Uh, Y incision, not as bad as on others. Notice there's no toenails. He's got some weird looking feet that way. And there we go. And let's talk to the doc, see if he's got anything new. Nope, oh, just gonna have to say thanks, Doc Robbins. Let me know how it all turns out. Yeah, in the most part, it's it's entertained me, but not like not like I really hope for. There's different things one can do within the office, which is kind of hard to navigate around my current setup right now for the... There we go. So in the crime lab, there's definitely different things we can do. A lot of this, though, is like hunting. The, those old computer games where you had to hunt for things within the game, if that makes sense. 
like let's say take a piece of evidence we'll take this bucket of goop okay i'm going over it to see if my detective kit comes up oh, let's take a look on the side no no okay and nope okay so i didn't get any fingerprints on it this way let's take a look over here so this is kind of if you really like fussy work but honestly i'm not so impressed with that idea like yay i'm doing fussy crime scene work i mean look at all the evidence i collected you have to go over and do fussy client crime scene work with it there is DNS, DNA and chemistry testing over here. Right there is fingerprints and medical files. Over here is sound technology. And then I'll show you the other one over here. This is where you're gonna get scenes where you rebuild objects. Here is evidence. And over here is, oh, hey. I can't even tell the gender, but I'm pretty sure it's was well, the hot chick. I'm Riley Adams. I know I'm making a heck of a first impression here, but I'm stumped. I have the strangest chemical sample, a spot of brown sludge from the floor of our crime scene. I can't figure out what it is. Maybe you can take a look. Oh, did I mention they give uh, little cameo appearances that are... They may get you a free, like, award or whatever. Like, I am just so underwhelmed with that so here's how evidence works okay this is riley's thing now we search um the spider-man game they had something similar honestly now you take your spectral analysis okay it's by green and yellow so by green and yellow so bang nope too close uh, how about over here nope too far maybe just right Oh, that's looking pretty good. Now I need a little guy next to the big guy. No, that's the right one. Hold on. Oh, that. No. How about there? Oh, I still got one to go. I don't know. Of course, right when I'm doing something. You know what, Riley? I, I may have a problem here. Okay, that looks good. Oh, that might be our winner. There it is. Now we'll confirm our match. And I will try it again. And so that's one of the things. This is being the Wii. I was hoping this would be a little more. I could sort things out. and It's all off by what? Sludge composition unknown. We reset. All right. Let's just go to the one I'm pretty sure is going to work. Okay, switch. Actually, let's go back. It said evidence. I wonder if I have anything that's already there, because if I do, then I can just confirm evidence we have. Now, some of the things we have are steroids and... Let's see. Hmm. Polish from a sword. Hey. Oh, look at that. The very same metal cleaner that was used earlier. This is not going to look good on William's permanent record. Okay, I can go to brass now. Yeah, I'm going to go to brass. Maybe I don't even want to go check out and see what that chick's doing. Why? There we go. Because it's not that interesting. So we'll go over to brass. And hey, brass. Why don't you bring a warrant in? And then I'll let you see what one of the interviews looks like. And that's going to be the whole game. This is really a C minus going on here. Hey, what's up, meathead? What do you need? Now I got him. I'll we see what I got him the by the balls. All right, let's see what Mr. Willingham has to say for himself now. And... I mean, am I not right about this PS2 graphics? It almost borders on PS1 play level. It's very much a C-, but if you like this thing, 
Well, Horace, can you explain there you go. why you have the same metal cleaner used You know what? Kill? Save your breath. I'm ready to talk. So here it is. After the fight, I overheard Hank arguing with Rick. And then Rick said he'd go to the press, tell everybody about how it was all a fake, how it was all one big ripoff. Truth was, I was juicing that night too. <laughs> you believe it? Old habits dying hard and all that? Suppose it was oh. the roid rage that got the better of me. After Hank left, I grabbed that sword and snuck down into the ring. I didn't cut him. I just beat him to hell with it. But the stupid thing broke in two, so I grabbed the microphone cord and strangled him with it. And then Hank gets blamed for the whole thing. <laughs> I knew he couldn't keep his damn mouth shut, so I did what I had to do. I tell you, it was pretty easy, too. What? Hank hated needles, so I was the one who usually gave him his medicine. I filled his syringe with that metal cleaner and then gave Hank his last injection. I deeply believe I have a moral obligation to fulfill here. A moral obligation to the truth. And to certain people, the League, I don't want to hurt them any longer. It was me, and me alone. I take full responsibility. I, Horace Willingham, killed them both. Um... That was really unanticipated. I don't believe it either. First off, this is CSI, so you don't get to believe that that's going to be the easy way out. Yeah, unless the cutscenes look okay. Not astounding. All right, Brass got us Williams' DNA when he confessed, so let's take a look here. I knew it. Williams' DNA doesn't match the hair at the crime scene. I had a feeling that confession was too easy. There must be someone else involved. I'll tell Brass not to take Willingham away just yet. A sexy wing girl. The case is already checked in as evidence. So take a look inside and see if you can find anything. Yeah, there's a sexy ring girl. So I'm going to finish the case on my own. I don't believe anyone wants to watch a Telltale game. They're, some of them are kind of just boring to participate in anyway. So this one leaves up to that Telltale spirit. It's definitely a big C minus here. I'm sorry, by the way, that I do not have my regular uh, camera, if you can even tell the difference. Hell, maybe it even sounds better. I don't know. But, you know, my son's computer goes down. I'm trying to fix his. He's borrowing mine. So some of the cooler stuff I hadn't planned for this is like, you know, some scenery and, you know, some CSI graphics and whatever. What you're getting is pretty bare bones. I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Thanks for watching, my friends. And goats out.